When my mom came to every most every game that she could come to, if it wasn't like too far, my number one fan with my shirt on, Sailor Ranger Russell, number seven. Dad came too most of the time. He, he, he you you can actually see this. Uh, he'll stand out because he had like the same exact shirt that I have on. So it was a long summer practice. The incident that happened, I was very dehydrated. I got home. Soon I got out of the car, I collapsed. I was going, my body was having a full body cramp. So I really couldn't move, I was crying and stuff. My mama ain't know what to do. My dad stayed in Pelham, Georgia, so he couldn't just like come. So she called Coche, and him, her, him and my auntie, they had to carry me in the stairs to the bathtub and put ice on me. Coche always taught me not, not to be scared to speak up on things, like asking somebody for a donation or something for our team. That they, all they can say is yes or no. So that's how I try to approach situations. Just don't, don't be, don't be scared all the time. It taught me nothing's never given. We are, we gonna have to always work for it. Even me, <laughs> I had to, I had to, I lost my position. I had to go get it back when I got hurt in my 11th grade year. Okay, your work ethic is number one. Is the number one thing of uh, number one pillar of success because. Sometimes y'all watch these videos, you see these kids running these four fours, four twos, but it didn't come just sleeping and waking up and going to run. That comes for hours and hours of hard work. Being able to call him with, with certain problems, like it don't matter if it's a relationship, I don't have him with a girl or something. Being able to talk to him about it is real soothing because you know, my dad been on been at work all the time. But this is just to rely on him, to talk to him about stuff that I can't just talk to other people about. It's a great feeling. Even outside of football, like when I was like having little problems here at home, I can just, he, I can call him, he'll come get me, talk about it. He'll basically calm me down because I tend to, I tend to get angry a lot. I mean, the, the reason it means a lot because I ain't really, got nobody just to talk to like that that's not going to tell my business. So just to be able to talk to him who I know is going to keep it to itself. But you always need, well, you always need somebody other, other than your parents to talk to. So just, just to be able to talk to him, it means a lot. Training with Don Fold was extremely hard. <laughs> like, the st certain stuff we did, it'll, it'll, it'll test your character. Like them hot summer days, like we would just been like, you would think the, the workouts would be over with, but it's nowhere near over with. You just get started, to, to be honest. And it's a lot going on, it's like a lot of mental, mental stuff going in your head. You gotta soak all of it in. He always teaching he teaching me stuff, game planning for the season and stuff. So usually every week, Coach Xavier will uh, have us quiz over our game plan. So he'll know if you didn't study your game plan for the upcoming game. If we, if we didn't if we didn't pass that quiz, we most likely didn't play. So it's like you really own that. <laughs> you study it every day, every day you're asking each other questions about it and everything. 
He will quiz us over formations, adjustments, what coverage we'll be in, who who the who the key players, who we always eye. I like to teach my kids don't fall in any as aspect. And times times get hard. We had a pandemic recently. Times get hard, and sometimes you know, sometimes you feel like you want to give up, but you gotta keep pushing, man. You gotta keep pushing. You can't fold the tent, man. You gotta keep pushing. Um, on the field, in the classroom, or uh, in your everyday life, you gotta just keep pushing and just just I always know it's a light at the end of the tunnel. And um, the program is I'm, I'm opening it um, for kids. Um, I start from kids five year old five up to college athletes, you know. Yeah, I mean, with my position, you you don't want to be too big where you can't move and cover receivers. So, you know, I play defensive back. That's kind of like a hard position. So, you know, working with Don't Fold, it just gets you where you need to be. And I feel like it puts you in a tip top shape. It, it's, it means a world of difference for me to train a five year old and I go to a football game and they score that touchdown. They look at me like, you the reason why I did this. And that's, that's an awesome feeling. That's an awesome feeling just to go back and see your players. Um, like I said, I got two. I got two athletes at West. I got an athlete at West Georgia. Um, I'll be at those games. Uh, Fam, you, I'll be at those games when they make a play. Uh, hoping they look in the stands and see me and give me a shout out, you know. And that's what it's all about. It's about building, building each other up. It's about helping each other out. Um, uh, before I started training with Don't Fold, I was just recently coming off an ACL injury, and I was having trouble getting back my fast twitch muscles and uh, getting my footwork down pat. But since I began training with Don't Fold, I'm starting to get back those fast twitch movements that I had before. And uh, I'm feeling better, gaining my weight back. I also had lost a lot of weight after surgery. But uh, going in, working with Don't Fold, doing the weights, I've uh, started to gain my weight back and I'm feeling better. Right now, I'm feeling great. I don't have any trouble with my knee anymore. Uh, normally when I work out, I don't even wear my knee brace that I used to wear all the time. I don't have to wear it anymore. So that was a big progression. It's gonna help me out a lot during the season. Understand that when you have when you have kids, keep them involved, keep them working. How you earn scholarships in the off season? You don't earn scholarships just going to practice every day and playing in football games. You earn you earn scholarships in the off season. You gotta you gotta stay on your kids to um, about eating right, uh, preparing for the um, football season. It's it's useless if you work out for six months during football season and now you're off three months. And, no one, and you're not doing any training, any running, any lifting, or anything like that because you regress like that. So it, you definitely have to keep your kids active, keep them involved. Is there anything else you want to say? Anything you want to add? Uh, nah, but y'all need to come train with these people. You know, don't fold. <laughs> Good job, boy.